Today's episode of Desert Wood Days with Kathy Blaze is sponsored by Movie Group, founder of the Dream Network Channel. Learn more at dreamnetworkchannel.com. I want to visit all the places nobody goes. I want to teach all the things that nobody knows. I want to grow wings, leave the coop, learn to fly. Bungee jump from the tallest building in Dubai. I want to fly around town in my UFO. I want to eat real food, not the GMOs. I want to make moves, call the shots like the boss. I want to love like I never lost. Welcome back to Desert Wood Days, and I'm your host, Kathy Blaze. You know, it's always a pleasure to have our young talent here on the show. So today we have one of our most talented actors here in Arizona, Mr. Roberto Cordero Jr. Welcome. Kathy, how are you? Good, good. Good to see you. Good to see you again. Such, pleasure. Such a pleasure. Always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Yes. So, Roberto. We just saw each other a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. Seemed like it was just yesterday. Worked for the first time. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> yes. And you were the lead in a film called 42 Seconds. Yes. And you did an amazing job. Thank you. So did you. Thank you. So I want... You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stop right here. I want to come back to this because sure. I want to um, see how you got there first. Definitely. But I want us to talk about that role because it was very intense for you. Yeah, yes. probably one, most of, one of the most intense roles I've probably ever done. Um, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Directed by Steve Anderson, great Steve Anderson, great acting coach, yes. amazing person, overall human being. Um, written by Judith Eisenberg. Yes, great beautiful, production. Beautiful person. Together. Yeah, everybody on that on that crew, amazing production team. Yeah. So. So um, what? So what got little Roberto into acting? Uh, was very at a very young age, I had a very I was very curious about it at a young age. It wasn't I wasn't very open about it. I knew that I very I loved film, uh, television. I think with the moment I saw Harry Potter was when I really? <laughs> was when it kind of just made it happy. I was like, I want to do that. Uh, but I was a young kid. I didn't take initiative until I was like freshman year. Um, I was like 15 years old. Um, I had were, no were resources. Were you one of those little mischievous kids? Yeah. That what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? I just always trying to figure things yeah. out. Oh yeah, interested piece in things. things together. Yeah. I very, I'm self-taught with everything. So I do photography, videography. I own my own photography business, RC Creative. And I do that full time. Oh, so okay. acting is more of a side thing for me. But um, yeah, I kind of just you know, took advantage of all the resources I had, which is, you know, YouTube, Google, and just kind of learned on my own how to become become that. Um, I lived in a small town, so I didn't really have a lot of people who were in that kind of space. Okay. Um, Where do you come from? So I was living, so I'm, I was born in Yuma. I was okay. uh, raised in Oceanside, California, oh, okay. but I had moved um, to Casa Grande, uh -huh. eighth, my eighth grade year. So moved a lot as a kid, oh, uh, town to town. Another um, small town, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Casa um, Grande is cool, though. Yeah, but I give props to Casa Grande because that's where I really found myself. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when I became more open. I became more open as far as, like, what I wanted to do. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I uh, went on Google, try to figure out what I wanted, mm -hmm. to, uh, how to do this, how to do uh -huh. that. And I didn't have experience at that time. So I did theater for two years just to get that stage presence, get, right. get outside my comfort zone, all that good stuff. So I did that for two years, and I knew that I wanted to get strictly into film. Um, so I did, um, I did acting acting classes, mm -hmm. eight week seminar. Uh, Scottsdale would go back and forth, um, and then from there on, I just as soon, as soon as I got my first car, I would drive, and you know do auditions, short films, and I got signed to my first agency, which was um, Devramatics at the age of seventeen. And then from there, I just kind of just kept paving the way. And at that time, too, yes, I was still doing photography. Yeah. Into place. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it kind of just worked out. Yeah. Congratulations. This, yeah. Divine timing. So it just kind of worked out. I wasn't. Um, I didn't really have like a, a set goal. I just kind of took it day by day and seeing whatever opportunity came my way. I just, right. and, it, and it worked out. It was, it's, well, been, because, it's been solid. Yeah. You know what? It, you you have the correct mindset. I mean, you had that mindset when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're trying to figure things out. You, you knew what you wanted to do or you thought you knew what you wanted to do yeah. as a kid and you just kept working at those yeah. things. I strongly believe that stage does help you with that presence. Oh, for sure. I, yeah. tr I truly, that was the first thing I did was a stage play. Mm -hmm. And and I say the first thing, but I, I remember doing stage plays when I was a kid. Me and my brothers would um, do our own little stage plays. Yeah. 
So I strongly believe that that really helps us with our presence. Yes, that helped me get us out of my comfort zone. I was a very timid kid, very mm -hmm. shy kid. And I knew I had to do something to break that. So right. theater, uh, improv, a lot of, uh, did a couple plays and that helped me so much. Um, so, so, so much. So yeah, I, I enjoyed it. And that whole process from there on out, I just, just loved it. So, I how, still love it. so um, how long have you been in the Phoenix um, industry? Uh, five years now. Five yeah. years? Five years, yeah. So I started doing a lot of commercial work. So like, I remember my first one was you know Oregano's, Top Golf, did like a lot of like um, uh, Primavera commercials, uh -huh. stuff like that, um, print ads, oh, okay. uh, stuff like that. So, but yeah, then short films, independents, feature films out here, and so it's, it comes in waves, like we were talking about earlier. Right. You know, which uh, what you were talking about goes into what you started to do full time your photography. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what got you into the photography? So photography was honestly the first thing that I kind of paved into. Oh. Um, I would take portraits of just friends, um, my family, and um, I from there on out, I, I would get people just reaching out saying like, do you do this, do you that? Oh. And just being the person, I was like, yeah, I could do that. And oh. I would just learn it and just like, right. just that's what you have <laughs> to do. Trial, through trial and error. <laughs> you say, yeah, I could do it. Yeah, yeah, I could do it, I can make it happen. Um, you know, sometimes we're like, say, no, I can't do that. Yeah, anyway. and then just, <laughs> You know, just getting people reaching out. And I was like, you know, I could probably make, I can make a business out of this. Uh -huh. So I just kept at it. And I was passionate about it. I enjoyed capturing people. My biggest thing was doing portraits. So that's what I enjoyed doing. To this day, I do a lot of editorial work, lifestyle content, um, weddings, you name it. Anything that has to do with portraiture, portraiture I love. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, so it started with photography and then just kind of got other creative outlets going. So that's yeah, awesome. So are out. you as passionate about uh, being an actor as you are photography? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I love being in front of camera, behind camera. And there's two different languages between the both. And I always tell people, actors or directors, just learn the language of an actor. Mm -hmm. Be in front of a camera because that's a whole different language. And you will understand an actor's language once you do that. So if you're behind the camera, you'll also you'll, you'll, you'll understand everything as far as blocking, mm -hmm. presence, and how to talk to an actor and just know that. And also being an actor, also learn the language of oh, the other side. Right. You and one I mean? thing that you said was paying attention. Yeah. And that's one thing as actors, we have to be outside of ourselves and our head. Because a lot of Definitely. times we're just there thinking about ourselves and not looking at the whole production, what's mm -hmm. going on. Yeah. And we're not taking in those those things that you just said. Yeah. Learning what the director is doing. What does mm -hmm. the director want from you? Mm -hmm. So what advice would you give to a young actor? Um, just, just starting out with some of the things that you see a lot of actors may not be doing correctly. Yes. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I do get people reaching out and they ask me the question, like, how do you become an actor? And it's like... You know, there's there's so much free there's so much free knowledge out there, and mm -hmm. you just got to take initiative and like, because I figured it out on my own. I didn't mm -hmm. have anybody around me to tell me how right. to do this and that. Like, I wanted it so bad, and I was committed to it that I took the initiative to find out, figure it out, go online, do the work, watch mm -hmm. videos, do this and this, um, and watch a lot of behind the scenes videos, mm -hmm. learn it, um, and just kind of implement that, and just find opportunities within the city, um, but. I was just I would just say do as much definitely surround yourself with people who are in the arts of course because uh -huh. that's gonna help you right. for sure um, but also yeah just kind of you you know there's so much free knowledge Google right. but see <laughs> that's the thing Google search. That, but you gotta be super you gotta be honestly very committed to it like you gotta right. be passionate about it if right it's something that you really want to do you're going to do it regardless right. because so, a lot of times they're looking at Roberto online or things that you're posting and they're looking at how I mean, thinking your life is so glamorous because mm -hmm. you're doing all this stuff and being around all these fun people, and they think they want to do that, but mm -hmm. they don't realize all the work, oh, yeah. time, and time, investment yeah. that you're putting oh, into sure. that. Oh, yeah. Until they have to do it, like you said, there's a lot of free material out there until they have to do it themselves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no yeah. calling Roberto and Roberto doing it all for you. Exactly. Yeah, I didn't have a helping hand, which. Which is why when people do reach out to me, I try my best to give as much good mm -hmm. advice that I did, maybe the wrongs that I did that they shouldn't do and stuff right. like that. But, but yeah, you've you've really got to want it. Like you've really got got a passion for it. You got to be committed to it because it's not. Yeah, no one's gonna really hold your hand, that's, and that's that's life itself. No one's gonna hold your hand. You got to you got to want it. Yeah. You have to really want it, and know what this business is about. First off, know that it is a business. Mm -hmm. so that's first thing, and is knowing that it's a business. 
and it takes work and it has to be something that you're passionate about because if you're not passionate about it you're not going to do it, it and work. you're not going to give your best and work. that camera is going to pick up everything about you yeah that's that's what, you that's really what don't want to be life. there yeah you gotta have passion that's like right. that's the key for everything that's what's going to drive everything else that like, that's going to drive your hard work that's going to drive your dedication that's going to drive everything else tell me about that art tattoo on your forehead there <laughs> you know it's funny i uh a lot of people are like is that is that is that a cut is that a bruise like, no, a bruise a tattoo. uh yeah it's funny i woke up one day and i was just like i kind of want to do something spontaneous why not and honestly like not to sound cliche cheesy about it but art did change like changed my whole entire life oh, and wow. everything that has to do with artistic expression um it changed everything about me and it did honestly save my life so uh which is why it's it's a nice little reminder right, right there to every right. time i look in the mirror so that's that's, that's awesome. the main reason why so i got why'd it. you choose that spot right there it's just right there, right? Just it's right there, right there in the open. The moment your... I look at my reflection, I'm just like, yeah, you're you're pure art too. Like you're, <laughs> you're just being a human. You you are art itself, and uh, it's just a good good reminder for cool, me. Cool, yeah, cool, cool. Basically. So, um, is that usually a problem for you when you're doing productions? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, not. I mean, necessarily. I mean, tattoos in general. I guess. I but they're more common nowadays, so it's oh. not too big of a hassle compared to you know 10 years ago or 15 so and it's small yeah i mean i yeah during, you were there on set you they had, had a whole they had, lion of, they did they did have, have one of those tyson um tattoos on your yeah, face <laughs> they didn't have to cover it up for 42 seconds right. so and that was kind of tedious and sometimes i'm just like i always tell them make away i'm so sorry to make it yeah. easier but i'm sure they've hearts. seen a lot yeah. worse i'm sure they've yeah. seen a lot worse speaking about 42 seconds we were talking about how you got um, how you started to get to where you are with 42 seconds and we we're talking about how intense that scene was because this movie was about trauma mm -hmm. so with your character and your scene I'm not we not gonna tell too much about it but it was very emotional oh yeah I mean there was a lot of fear I mean hurt there was a lot to it tell us how you got to that point well yeah the subject itself was just very sensitive and I remember reading the material and I was just, I talked to Steve the director and, I, and he knew that that whole subject was sensitive but it wasn't necessarily about that subject it was more based on the you know, PTSD and trauma oh. and um, you know what a person faces after such a traumatic experience right. and honestly just reading the material I, mean, I tried my best to kind of dissect it all and I did speak to people who do suffer from PTSD. I know people mm. who suffer from PTSD and just kind of learned, um, kind of got knowledge from them, what they do, what they experience, what they go through. Um, I'll, I feel like, but that's not never really enough. You just never really know how someone really feels right. to go through that. But I did my best to kind of dissect the material and get myself in that headspace. And Jake, who is the character, um, just kind of, it's funny because there are similarities from like, experiences with relationships that Jake's gone through that I have gone through that I was able to piece together um not more so the PTSD stuff but um there are certain characteristics that he had that I I was able to kind of um I, I saw myself in a little right. bit so and I saw it I, I, I saw um I saw Jake mm. and I can tell you me being there on set with you there was a time where um I was sitting there and the pain you were feeling and what you were going through i mean i actually felt that in my heart it was so real yeah. i mean i mean that whole set that whole set was real i mean and yeah, that absolutely. is something that you go through as an actor mm -hmm. and like you said you took a lot of it from people that you know that have ptsd and you were able to try and put it inside of you yeah yeah i'm very thankful that i also have very great actors on set that i was working with who were able to reciprocate that energy so that's yes. my biggest thing. i'm a empath so mm. i could i could feel energy from like a mile right. away the moment right. i walk into a room i could feel i could right. sense energy so when i'm able to have a conversation you know um the people i'm reading with and going through that dialogue and i could feel that from you right. i'll feel it right. so that was that was big for me too right. the people that i was working with they were able to give me that energy and i was able to feel it and right. kind of give that back so that itself was like perfect um right. but yeah it was very one of the most intense films i've done um it, it's, it's kind of hard to kind of just uh i'm excited for it. it it felt everything felt good 
Mm -hmm. um, the people were amazing. Everybody, I, so vulnerable. Everybody was so vulnerable. Right. It's you gonna, could, you, you know, what it's that. gonna really touch a lot of people. Yeah, I'm excited for it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, um, yeah, the material, the writing was perfect. Okay. So that was like number one. That that made everything like feel so fluid and right. smooth. Um, I just had a great cast, great cast, yes. great production team, great writer, and all those components just made made bring it, uh, brought it to life. So, for the most part, doing so. something like that, um, Roberto, you um, were in a film like that where all the emotions and everything is all inside you and fired up. Say next week you got a, a music video you're doing or something comedic. How do you get out of leave all that junk behind and get to there? It's a job. Ultimately, and I'm able. I, thankfully, I'm able. I'm able now to mm. like switch it off. Mm. Like, um, like I'm not a method actor. Like mm. the moment you're cut, I'm, I'm Roberto. Like mm -hmm. I could get into character easily right. now. Back in the days, I would. <laughs> my process was a little different, mm -hmm. and sometimes I would sink pretty dark, and it would take a toll on me for the next right. couple of days. But um, I think it's 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 a mind game. Right. Like you really got to know like that you are doing a job. And yeah. it is tough, though, as as a human, as, as a human, what right. you go through the emotions, you make yourself feel like you're, right. you're going to feel that. And that's taken a toll on me in past past productions where I feel it the next day, next following two days. But um, I, I'm very I, I know myself mm -hmm. and I know my my mind space. I know who I am and I'm able to kind yeah. of switch that off. Yeah. So. And, and that's the stuff that we're talking about. That's all that good stuff that we're talking about as an actor is that you know for some that think oh i just want to be an actor because it's glamorous and i get to walk on red carpets and i get to go and hang out with the cool people yeah we cool but um it's more to it you have all that other stuff that's on the inside that you have to deal with oh yeah so we we're going to get on past that because besides being an actor you also are a photographer that you do full-time tell us a little bit about that yeah so i've been doing photography full-time for four and a half years now. Thankfully, I'm grateful to be busy. Um, so yeah, I specialize, like I said, a lot of lifestyle portraiture yeah. content, um, commercial editorial headshots though. Mm. Lately, I've been doing a lot of more fashion work. So um, I work with Ford a lot. So I do a lot of test shoots for their models. Oh. And I do, um, whenever they need test shoots, I work with them. I also work with Signature, which is my agent. Uh -huh. So I work with their models and I, and you know, you know what they, you know what they're yeah, yeah. looking so, for. So it, work, so it works out, yeah. So. And that's what I kind of I love a lot of like the create like the creative editorial work yeah. like the fashion the high end stuff that's what I enjoy doing because it's more especially when I have more creative control right. for the concepts and the direction for it so right and yeah. you being in the industry you know what people are looking for what the what the industry needs I should say mm -hmm. so yeah you know and what's everything been... and everything is like social media driven now too so I work with a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs who are on social media Instagram mm -hmm. so real content right. you know lifestyle content people are looking for that a lot nowadays. So um, it's become, you know, it's become pivotal to have, yeah. you need photo and video, so. Awesome. Any so new projects coming up? Um, more so, um, I just got done shooting a series. Um, it's a three episode, well, we just shot the three episodes. Um, we'll be shooting again next month, but working on a series right now. Um, not sure if I can say the name, but yeah, yeah. We, we shot, we shot, we were there shooting yesterday oh, okay. um, and we finished the third episode, so. We're working on that right now. Awesome. Um, yeah, and it's been picking up right now. I've just been more busy, more so with the photography aspect oh. with my clients. So, but that's fun. I love that. So, right, it's, right. It's art. You know, well, it's you like know creative. What? You you have so much. Um, there's so much to do. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you're a young guy. You're talented. You're working on both ends. So I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more of Roberto Cordero. Appreciate Jr. that. Yeah. No. I'm timing. So, where can our audience find you? Um. Where can you find me? Um, my address is not <laughs> on social media. I just put Roberto my Cordero. Address, my phone number, my birthday, my social security number. Yeah, if you put, if you Google Roberto Cordero Jr. my you know my website, IMDb, Instagram, all that will pop up. Okay. Um, yeah. And your photography is. Oh yeah, different. photography company is RC Creative Media. We specialize in photo and video. So. Yeah. Well, pleasure to have you here. Pleasure to be Thank here. Thank you. Thank you. We look forward to seeing more of you out there. Appreciate and you, my friend. we know we are. I appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for joining us here today on Desert Wood Days. And we'll catch you next time. Today's episode of Desert Wood Days with Kathy Blaze was sponsored by Movie Group. 
visit them at dreamnetworkchannel.com.